I've been through the disease of addiction. Um, I've been through the homelessness. I've been through the jails. I remember when I was out there and I ain't have a meal to eat. I remember when I was selfish. My yesterdays were filled of darkness, depression, homelessness, addiction. Actually, I was uh, on the streets, you know, uh, using drugs. You know, uh, I've been in and out of jail from 10 to 23 years of age. That's all I basically did was go to jail. When I was in Georgia, I didn't have custody of my son for six months. I lost my mom when I was 15, and I didn't want him to lose his mom because I know how bad it feels. I spent about 11 years of my life incarcerated, um, in and out, not continuously. You know, three years here, two years here, year here. I spent a lot of my life homeless, um, and it was all due to my addiction. I, I didn't take it serious at first. Like, I didn't believe that. I had a problem like other people did, you know. I got caught up in some things when I was younger. Um, that led me to drug use. Drug use led me to, you know, crime and, and uh, stupid things like that. Even though the bad yesterdays made me a stronger person for the better today, you don't have to live in the, in the bad yesterdays. My first better tomorrow was April April 22nd, I want to say, 2004, when I got the opportunity to be a client here at Evans Village. And they taught me how to be a better person, how to be a productive member of society. And I have been clean for 16 years since then. And um, that was my first better tomorrow. When I first called Eva's from a detox and um, I was greeted with Eva's Where Hope Begins, I felt welcomed, you know? I never, I haven't felt welcome in a long time prior, you know? So, it was life changing. I wanted a different life, you know? I wanted to do better. I wanted to be a better person. And coming here, um, I learned to be of service. My better tomorrows, um, started with Eva's Village being able to give me the opportunity to go out, go to school, and go to work while I was in treatment. So I enrolled in community college, and from there on, my life has just been going up and up and up and up ever since, and I'm about to graduate with my master's degree this year. My plan is to open up a nonprofit organization aimed at helping children um, overcome you know, the bad decisions that I made by incorporating sports into the picture as well. I have four beautiful granddaughters that are in their life today. Um, they love their Mimi today. I have an amazing relationship with my kids. Um, I have beautiful women and Eva's Village still in my life. Um, my next better tomorrow is going to be paying it forward, helping others, um, volunteer service as much as I can with Eva's. Um, and working for them. That's my goal. My better tomorrow is helping other people that suffer from homelessness, addiction, um, depression, isolation, and helping them see a brighter tomorrow. Having a better tomorrow will definitely have to include, uh, you know, just staying in the recovery process, staying clean first, because if I can't stay clean, I can't, you know, take care of nobody else. My life is full, man, you know, like I'm being dependent on today, you know. My, my, my daughter calls me to pick up my kids from school. You know, I'm trusted today. You know, I'm not a burden to my family anymore, you know, so. That's a big deal. That's a big deal, yes. Better tomorrow was when they sent me to Eva's Village. You know, when I, when I came here, I never knew what responsibility was all about. I never knew what love was all about, right? But when I came to Eva's, I found out what responsibility was about and somewhat what love was about. And I left here with my own place, my high school diploma, I was in college, I paid off all my fines. And I feel like it's still just as hard today as it was that my first day at Eva's, but I, now I've run my own business. I've, we've been in operation for three years, named NJ Gourmet. Um, it's a food business, I'm a chef, I have 
several people, several clients now. We've, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of work, obviously. I have a family. Um, my wife and I have been together for almost seven years, or seven years in total. We have a two-year-old son now, who's about to be two in December, which has been a blessing. So I, after Eva's, I went and got my bachelor's degree in business administration, and I have three kids, and I own my own house. We just bought a house last year, and I live with my husband, my son, and from who was at Eva's with me, and I have two daughters now. One is three, and one is six months old. Eva's gave me the skills that I needed and the tools that I needed to realize that I can fix my mistakes and I can move forward from them. I love my life today, like I really do. There's uh, so many better tomorrows out there, right? So many people that's waiting for this opportunity that I have today, you know, with all that experience that I have, I use that experience today to help other people. For me, a better tomorrow is not seeing those people on the streets not now. Not seeing those people laying on the ground. Not seeing so many people that's helpless, hungry, lonely, tired. Um, being able to help those people, to me, will be a better tomorrow.